guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be vlogging, cleaning, and doing some stuff today. I still don't know yet, but it's one of those, you know, laid back type of days because it's gonna be raining, it's cloudy, and we are staying home because it's super cold. So I have a few things to do, so I will take you along my I'm actually supposed to be cooking today, but I'm not because we have a whole pizza and a half to eat and we have a bunch of leftovers in the fridge and I'd rather for us to eat that so we don't waste the food and then I'll cook something different tomorrow um, and like that I could just clean the fridge out and start the week off fresh. I told the kids that on the weekends they really don't have to make their beds but I do like to make my bed on the weekend especially if I'm doing laundry it's just easier to fold. So now that the kids are home, I try to keep them busy most of the time so like that they don't stay on their tablet the whole time. So I, I always have some kind of craft or some sort of activity for us to do. But I look forward to their winter break. There's times when, you know, it could get a little bit much, but I look forward to it. I look forward to not waking up early in the morning. <laughs> Honestly, I wake up at 5 a.m. guys every single day, Monday through Friday. So let me know what sort of things do you do with your kids during their winter break. I know I also make sure that they do at least 15 minutes of iReady. It's like a program to keep your kids, you know, on top of learning and things like that. They also have to stay on top of their reading. And this winter break, we also have to work on some science projects. So we have actually quite a few things to do. So I do have a lot of laundry to do. I first started off with the towels. I always put some sort of powder in there like OxyClean or something like that. And then I always, instead of fabric softener with the towels, I especially use vinegar. Vinegar kills the towel smell. You know how after, after a while, the towels start to get that certain smell. Vinegar literally kills that smell. And I wash it in on hot water. And no, you do not smell the vinegar. Especially once you dry, you do you can't even tell that you even use vinegar. Here separating clothes, guys, and this is what I see. She went in my closet and got my little Christmassy house shoes. Talk about it fits. I don't see how. Let me see. <laughs> I don't see how you think this fits. It looks like you have some duck feet. No. <laughs> I do not have duck feet. These are mommy's daddy said he might get me some. Comment down below if you have a little girl that takes your stuff. She's always in my closet. Oh, not even in my closet. If I have something, she wants it. If I spray myself, she wants to spray herself. If I, just basically anything that I do, she wants to do as well. Okay, y'all, so I want to show you this real quick. I got this sent to me by Rad Soap. It's a head hemp soap company which I'm so excited because I went on their website and they have some pretty cool stuff. Hold on, let me move this out the way. I just opened the box. I would say, I don't even know what came in here. Um, I opened the box and I'm terrible at opening boxes because I just destroyed the box. But I got these sent to me and, oh my God. This smells so good. Like, look, this is their Christmas one. But comment down below if you know what movie this is from. So this is the Ralphie bar. This is the ugly sweater. Sorry for the background noise, I got kids. This is the roasted chestnut. It's a limited reserve. It smells so good. Okay, and this one is the Nirvana Ch Chaga Mushroom and Ash. Waganda, I think that's what it says. But these smell so good. American Beauty, Himalayan Salt, and Egyptian Rose. Oh, this one smells good. I sm I love the smell of rose. Like I love the Bath and Body Works uh, ro rose and ivy candle and everything. What's this? Mystery Balm. Oh. Oh, look at that. It is, see that? So I can't wait to try that as well. Let me see what's this. This is the hemp cream. Okay. This is the cedar and amber soup. Oh, okay. 
What's this? Oops. Foot therapy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Especially for the winter time where your feet could be extra dry. Oh, this smells like peppermint. I love the smell of peppermint. Okay. And this is the hand therapy. Okay. Let me see. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can't wait to try that. I'm definitely putting this one in my purse. So, meet the rad, rad, raddest family in the game. So basically, it came with a card. Welcome to the world of rad. It all began in a small kitchen fueled by a mother's love where a founder, Sue Kerber, searched for something natural to relieve her son's eczema. In early 2009, she turned her entrepreneurial spirit and passion for blending natural ingredients into what is today, known as the Rad Soap Co Company. Today, the Rad Soap Company is committed to being the consumer's most trusted source for natural body care and products. Thank you, Rad Soap Company, for sending me this starter kit. Also, I will be linking down their website and their Instagram down in the description box. Please, sweater cookies thing from Walmart and basically they're getting ready to decorate some cookies now I am terrible at making sugar cookies so this is perfect so they get ready to do that now I got this tablecloth from the Dollar Tree these are just the regular old tablecloth it's only like a dollar but when they do any kind of crafts or anything like that or something that has to do with making a mess I put this down so like that they don't destroy my table Paint on the table. that's right so these canvases I showed it in my um dollar tree haul i got it from dollar tree and these little paints are from walmart so she's gonna do that as well but right now they're getting ready to decorate some cookies so comment down below if you buy your pre-made sugar cookie mix or do you make it from scratch yourself that's one thing i don't know what what it is but i can't make sugar cookies for some reason it just doesn't come out right to me but I just buy the kit and it's just so much easier for me. So around this time of year, I like to do some sort of vlog. I will be vlogging Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and I'm going to put it together and post it on this Thursday. But the reason I do is because I like to be able to look back for, you know, for memory's sake. And like right now, my kids still look at the videos last year where we recorded them opening up their Christmas gifts. So for me, it's all about the memories and be able to look back on them. Right here, my kids did point out to me the fact that I was trying to make these perfect lines and it's supposed to be an ugly Christmas sweater cookie. What kind of sweater is that supposed to be, Mama? A Christmas sweater. A ugly Christmas sweater. That's what it's supposed to be. You did a good job. Thank you, Mommy. Little Mama, she had to eat her cookie on one side of her mouth because the other side she had a wiggly tooth. So yesterday in my Hobby Lobby haul, I showed that, well, I got this from Michael's. It was $9.99. It's this huge gingerbread house that your kids get to decorate. This is the room. It gets to color. So the boys are trying to put it them, to put it together themselves. Oh, the Lord. Room. I wish them luck. trying to figure this thing out they say they don't need my help okay yeah. so one child is reading the instructions while the other two are still working Desi says we, they need help 
Devin says he they do. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Y'all, I was jamming to some Christmas tunes in this video. I was like in my own little zone. I think I was, what was the song I was listening to? Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer or something? <laughs> I don't know. Dad had to come in here and help. I think this is the coolest thing ever. And for $9.99, you cannot beat that. So you can find this at Michael's. So I do fold my daughter's clothes, but the boys' clothes, they actually fold their own clothes. All I have to do is put their clean clothes in their hamper and they take it upstairs and put it away themselves. If you're not already, make sure you're following me over on Instagram at simplycinia30. I post there quite often, y'all. So throughout the day, I normally just put the dishes in the dishwasher so I don't have a sink full of dishes but on this day i kind of just let the dishes go so some of them i do wash by hand while others i do put in the dishwasher like my knives and pots and pans and things like that i wash that by hand everything else goes in the dishwasher So my daughter, Destiny, she's like my little partner in crime. She will fix my shirt if my shirt don't look right. She will tell me in a hot minute if my shoes don't match with my shirt, you know. She literally is my partner. And she's also my crafting partner as well because she loves to craft. So every weekend she has to do something. She has to do make something. So on the, she did ask me to paint and I got these canvases from the Dollar Tree. enjoyed this video i just finished cleaning the kitchen the kids are showered 
I'm gonna take a shower so I can finish for tonight because I have to get up early in the morning to go to church. Um, honestly, I'm exhausted, y'all. <laughs> and I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. So, I to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, guys. Bye.